This SMG is very powerful on its own, but what if I told you that it can be paired with certain exotics to make some crazy combos? You can have unlimited rifts, sunspots whenever you feel like it, and tons of overshields. I'm Marshix, and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy, all I ask is that you leave a like on the video. This SMG is the title. You can get this by depositing Guardian Games medallions into the podium at the tower. I'll go over a good way to get these while solo in just a minute. The thing that makes this stand out from other SMGs is its unique origin trait. Classy Contender gives you class ability energy from kills with this weapon, somewhere between 5 and 10% per kill, which might not seem like much, but in practice, it basically cuts the cooldown in half. You'll be able to chain back-to-back -back rifts on a warlock, barricades on a titan, and dodges on a hunter. And unlike other weapons with Wellspring, this doesn't take up a perk slot, so you can pair it with two other top-tier perks. It gets all of these to choose from, but the main ones you want to look for are Stats for All plus One for All for additional handling, stability, reload, range, and a 35% damage buff after hitting three separate targets, Threat Detector plus Surrounded for additional reload, stability, handling, and a 30% damage buff just by standing near three or more enemies, or Grave Robber plus Swashbuckler to cause melee kills to both reload your weapon and give you a 33% damage buff. For the rest of the video, I will refer to these roles as All for One, Get Out of My Personal Space, and Let Me Give You a Hand. Now let's look at the exotics you can pair with this to make some insane builds. The first combo lets you have a rift up at all times. Sanguine Alchemy will cause weapon kills to give you 5 seconds of blood magic. While you have blood magic, your rift timer is paused, essentially extending the duration of your rift. You can have each of your rifts up for a very long time, and by the time the rift runs out, you'll probably have another one ready, thanks to classy contender and armor mods like Utility Kickstarter or Perpetuation. So just place a rift, kill anything in range, then move up and drop another rift. If you time everything properly, you'll be standing in a rift most of the time. This exotic will let you abuse sunspots whenever you feel like it. Lorelei Splendor will make your sunspots heal you, and it creates sunspots when you're critically wounded with full class ability energy, or whenever you place your barricade. Standing in a sunspot will give you faster grenade and melee recharge, increase your super duration, and give all your weapons a 20% damage increase. So you can place a rally barricade to provide cover and increase your reload speed, then a sunspot will spawn, healing you, giving you grenade and melee energy, and buffing your weapon damage. Basically, a mini well of radiance for titans. With this, you'll be able to kill things much faster and safer, allowing you to get another barricade sunspot for the next fight. This exotic will heal you every few seconds. Wormhust Crown will give you a third of your health back each time you dodge. If you have high mobility and the title, you'll be able to dodge every few seconds and take advantage of the healing often. Just dodge during a fight, get a chunk of health back, then jump right back into the action. It's also nice to hold on to for those times where you would most certainly die otherwise. This combo will upgrade your rifts and ensure you get them back very quickly. With Stag, you get damage resistance while standing in your rift. So you can use this with an empowering rift to help keep you alive with a damage buff. Or you can use this with a healing rift to make you nearly invincible in most activities. Stag also grants additional rift energy while critically wounded. This, with Classy Contender, means you get rifts back in only a few seconds, whether you have high recovery or not. And this is kinda busted in PvP too. Saitan's Ramparts. This exotic will let you shoot through your barricade, so just place it down, shoot enemies with your SMG from behind cover, and get it back very quickly. Simple enough. This exotic gives you an OP dodge ability. Mask of Bacchus replaces your stasis subclass dodge with a longer range, faster moving shift. After doing this, you get increased damage on your arc weapons and against frozen or slowed targets. So you can dodge, use an arc heavy weapon like Hothead or Anarchy, then swap to your SMG and clear some adds to recharge your class ability, and then swap back to your arc weapon for more DPS. This next exotic plays off the fact that the title is a void weapon. With Nezarek Sin, void kills will give you abyssal extractors. This buff will give you increased grenade, melee, and super regeneration. Everything but your class ability. So with the title, you can recharge all of your abilities much faster, basically all the time. Heart of Inmost Light will significantly buff your abilities by using your other abilities. This includes grenades, melees, and you guessed it, your class ability. Simply by using one of these, the other two will be empowered, meaning they recharge faster, grenades and melees deal more damage, and your barricade has more durability. Ideally, you start by placing your barricade to empower your grenade and melee, then use one of those to empower the other one to times two then use that ability to get all of them to times two. From there, you can kind of chain them back to back for lots of empowered abilities. And you have Classy Contender to help ensure that you're able to chain them and keep them empowered. This exotic can also stack with other melee buffs to make one of the best melee builds in the game. So if you do decide to go with this exotic, I say go all in on melees. You can use this with the let me give you a hand roll on your SMG and pair it with something like Ragonhild with one-two punch. 
Maybe throw in a debuff, fragments, and armor mods, and you'll nuke everything. If you like blinding people, you'll love combining the title with Gemini Gesture. This exotic will disorient enemies for a few seconds after dodging. This is mainly used for Crucible to throw other players off around corners, but it's not terrible in PvE either. Enemies will actually be unable to shoot you for 5 seconds, allowing you to safely shoot them or get out of a dangerous situation. Disorient enemies, kill them with your SMG, then disorient more. We've all had that one guy on our team who constantly dies to everything. Well this exotic attempts to minimize that by healing your allies from far away. Boots of the Assembler generates healing orbs that track down your allies while you're standing in a healing rift. If you're in an empowering rift, they will instead give both players a 35% damage bonus, which is 15% more than the base empowering rift. And whenever one of these seekers hits an ally, your rift duration is increased. While all of this is happening, you can start building up class ability energy with your SMG from the safety of your rift. Then, once you have another charge, you can move up and place another. It also helps to use this with Benevolent Dawn since the Seekers will activate it, giving increased grenade, melee, and rift energy. Hoarfrost is a strange exotic, but it has its uses in certain stasis builds. Your barricade is replaced with a wall of stasis crystals. It will slow nearby enemies, and you still get the benefits of a rally barricade while behind it. These crystals will also activate aspects and fragments like Tectonic Harvest, Whisper of Chains, and Whisper of Shards. So you can make a variety of awesome stasis builds. You can also add Whisper of Refraction to gain class ability energy in addition to classy contender, so you can create a ton of these stasis walls. Another exotic that benefits from dodging often is Bombardiers. This exotic will create an explosion with a unique effect based on your subclass. You can blind people with Arc, burn with Solar, suppress with Void, slow with stasis, and maybe one day, poison. And yes, this does activate certain subclass abilities, such as Burning Edge, to get additional effects. This only gets better when we gain access to Solar and Arc 3.0, so I'm excited to see its full potential. Have you ever wanted to snipe people with a shotgun? Well, Luna Faction Boots enables just that. This causes your rift to increase reload speed for anyone standing inside. It also makes weapons more effective at range. This means slug shotguns can one-shot people from 22 meters in Crucible. It's not just shotguns, though. All weapons benefit from this. Even the title. Icefall Mantle converts your barricade into an overshield. You will be slowed during this, but you can tank a lot of damage while you have the overshield, then when it runs out, just get a few kills of the title and you'll have another one. And one more weird thing that it can do is slow enemies on any subclass. Neat. The next build lets you gain Devour on command, but if you are enjoying this video, leave a like down below and say yo in the comments. Seekin Filaments grants Devour whenever you place an Empowering Rift. Kills with Devour heal you, give grenade energy, and extend its duration. This helps you gain Devour before a fight, or if you pair it with something like Devouring Depths, you can get this during a boss fight and deal extra damage with your super. Seekin Filaments also gives you overload rounds while standing in your rift, so you can stun overload champions with any weapon you want, including Galahorn. You can turn invisible while dodging by using Vanishing Step. With Graviton Forfeit, the invisibility lasts longer, your melees recharge faster, you get faster reload, and you have increased recovery. This makes all invisibility effects much better, and you can have this up most of the time because of your SMG. This next exotic pairs greatly with the get out of my space roll on the SMG. Vesper of Radius will unleash an arc shockwave whenever you place a rift. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's good to take out small enemies that try to swarm you. It also has a second ability, which makes your rift recharge faster when surrounded by enemies. So if you do have a title with Threat Detector and Surrounded, you'll get both of those perks to activate, as well as faster class ability from Classy Contender and Vesper of Radius. Now, for a good way to farm for this weapon really fast, check out this video. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.